everyone. Welcome. I am so excited for our workout today because it's a Tabata workout. I hope you love them too. This is where we work hard for 20 seconds, rest for 10 seconds, and we just keep the party going. One round after the other. Today we have a total of seven rounds of Tabata. Five will be done on our feet, one will be done on the floor for core, and our last one will be for stretching. So let's get warmed up. Start marching nice and strong. Hump your arms to the sides. Separate your feet nice and wide. Wide march. Maybe get a little more aggressive with your movements here. And you'll find that happening naturally as you get warmer and warmer. March here for four more. Three, two, wide toe taps. Right foot, left foot. Notice you're shifting your weight from side to side. All right, let's add some arms, shoulder rolls. Warming up through our shoulders. You can stay here or make it bigger. Arm circles. Only if you're ready. Feeling that nice stretch through our shoulders and our chest. Four more. Three. In two, join your palms together and rotate side to side. That little twist through the torso will warm up the core. Four more. Three. In two, side squat, right and left, or left and right. Just kind of end it up on the left side. That'll work. That'll work. Good. Four more. Three. In two, heel forward, right heel, then left heel. Alternating your feet, leaning back just a little bit to warm up your core some more. Keep your spine nice and long. Get ready to jump rope. So pick up your jump rope. You can jump rope like this. You can jump rope like this. You can shuffle. However you want to jump rope today, it's worth it. Good, four, three, jump rope down. Two step togethers, right, left. Notice I'm kind of going down and up. You can stay up the whole time or enjoy that bouncing type movement. Lateral movement, two, side to side. Four more. Three. In two, we're going back to the march, but left foot first, left, right, left, right. Repeating all those movements one more time. Open your feet, wide march. Don't forget to pump your arms strongly. All right, toe tap. We go right and left. Arms if you want. You can do shoulder rolls. You can do bigger arm circles. Whatever you feel like warming up right now. Four more of them. And three. Two more. Palms together. Twist side to side. Your arms can be away from the body for a bigger twist or a little closer to the body for a more shallow twist. Good. Four more. Three. Side squat. We'll take it right together. See, we end up going right this time. It all evens out in the end. Good. Four more. Three. And two. Heels forward. Start with your right heel, left heel. Remember that slight lean back. It is your opposite arm that comes forward. We'll do a few more of these. And then it's time to jump rope again. So grab your rope. Here we go. Remember your options. Double feet, shuffles. You can walk your shuffles. Just keep spinning that rope around. Last four. Three, two. Good job. March out. Get ready. Two step together, left. Two step together, right. You got it. Back to that lateral movement. A couple more. All right, from the center, inhale up, exhale down. Four more big breath in and out. We are warm and ready to move on. I've got my timer today, so it'll keep us on track so we know we're working exactly 20 seconds and resting for 10. If you need a longer recovery than 10 seconds, please take it. Come back in when you're ready. You'll also want to grab a moderate to heavy set of weights for your strength rounds. In each Tabata round, you'll have eight exercises, or eight times two exercises. There'll be four different exercises, three strength, 
one cardio. We'll do one, two, three, four, and then go back and do one, two, three, four. So two times through each exercise. All right, hopefully while I was jabbering, you grabbed your set of weights and are ready to go forward in our workout. So I'm gonna start the timer right away. That's gonna preview first. And once I start, it gets going. All right, the first exercise I'm previewing will be a front lunge position. Right leg is in front. You'll lift and lower your right foot. Arms come to the side. And we're gonna stay on that one side. So, get ready. Your right foot is forward. Your weights are in your hands. And go. So you're lifting and lowering your front foot with control. Soft landing. Feel your core brace as you lift your knee. Arms out to your sides. See if you've got a good amount of weight. You should feel it. Rest, that's your recovery signal. Next up, get into a hinge position. We'll do tricep kickbacks with step backs. And actually, I just want to stay on the right side. So just the right foot steps back again. We're gonna stay on one side for a lot of our exercises here at the beginning. Then when we come to these exercises all together at the end, we'll alternate. But for now, keep that right foot only, moving back again. Straighten your arms. Press. Boy, those 20 seconds are going by quick. Next, weights will be your shoulders. Side squat, overhead press. And we'll stay to the right side. So squat, press up. Squat. Get nice and low. Power up nice and high. Using your whole body here. Heart rate will be elevated throughout the workout today, but we're gonna pick it up even more in our next exercise, which is cardio. So we'll be setting our weights down, out of your way, and here's our cardio move. Step back, slam front. Step back, slam front. And we're off. Be very aggressive with this movement. Big arm driving exercise here. Step back. Row down in front. Heart rate should be climbing. Getting ready to start that series all over again. When we're done, grab your weights. Barely enough time to step up again. All right, this time. Left foot in front. We'll lift and lower. And we're off. Up, down. Very fast paced workout today. That's what Tabata is all about. Working hard all the way through. 10 seconds is just enough time to set up for your next exercise. Arms can be long or elbows can be bent. Recover. Next up, tricep kickbacks. This time our left leg will tap back and in. So hinge forward and go. Put your kicking arms behind you. Arms follow leg. Or more, more precisely, your leg follows your arms. I like to include the tap backs on this one to get your heart rate a little higher, make it a little more challenging, more muscle in the movement. All right, recover. Side squat left, overhead press when you come in. So get set and go. Squat, press, squat, press. Good job. Now we will not get a longer recovery after our first round of Tabata like we normally do. We're just going to keep going. But if you need a longer recovery, just press pause. All right, weights down. Back to cardio. Or continuing cardio. <laughs> All right, we're going to be stepping back left. Slamming down. And go. Good. Remind yourself, you are strong. You are fierce. You are powerful, so use it, work it. This will bring us to the end of Tabata 1, but we'll go right into Tabata 2. All right, so grab weights. Four new exercises coming up. First one will be a curtsy lunge with a bicep curl, right leg only. So cross back, step side. I'm gonna try to stay nice and low. Notice I don't rise up, when I step side. Constant tension on my left leg. You can come up if you want to though. I'm just showing you some options. 
Oh, I'm glad it was only 20 seconds. All right, next up, wide stance. Plies with upright rows. Keep your shoulders over your hips. Bend your knees, slide down, press up. Your weight stay close to your body all the way through. You can add heel lifts at the top. Getting another inch or two higher. Working those lower legs and calves. Testing your balance. Almost there. Ah, rest. All right, next exercise. Ooh, do I remember it? Punches, punches. We're gonna throw our punches forward with or without your weights. So if you start these, it doesn't feel so great for your shoulders, your elbows, set your weights down and do it without. Regardless, we are bracing for our core. We are throwing those punches strong in front of us, extending about 95% of the way. Rest, weights down. Cardio, cardio exercise will be squat lifts or squat jumps. 20 seconds, go. If you're jumping, you're landing softly. Everyone's going up and down. That's gonna drive your heart rate. What I didn't tell you yet is you're gonna feel these exercises again later on. So don't be sad. Back to exercise one. Grab your weights. Curtsy lunge with bicep curls. This time, left leg back. Go. You can change your bicep curls. Right, I've shown you in other workouts different ways you can do it. So if you get tired of them one way, try another. Good. Staying on that right leg. That's our anchor. That's the one working. Rest. Quick shake out. Set yourself up for what's coming. Plie, upright row. And go. Heels can be down the whole time, or heels can lift at the top of the exercise. Working our shoulders, working our legs, specifically our inner thighs. We're gonna hit it all. In our fun, challenging, to body workout. All right, bring them in. Punches, weights or without weights. I'm gonna start by throwing my left arm forward first this time. Go. I swear that 10 seconds is getting shorter. Uh, that's why I have to use a timer. <laughs> I've been making the 10 seconds longer and the 20 seconds shorter, bit by bit through the workout. So, core engaged, arms strong. All right, weights down. Cardio, squat lifts or squat jumps. Everyone's going down and up as fast as you safely can. Go, go. Remember how strong you are. We're just getting stronger and stronger still as we work our way through this workout. You probably heard the phrase, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Oh, that always comes to mind during Tabata work. All right. Next to bottom, grab your weights. So four new exercises. We'll start with reverse lunge, front raise. Go. Right leg only. Big step back. Weights come about head high, targeting the fronts of our shoulders and the whole lower body. You've got it. You've got it. Hang tough. Rest. Next up, we'll send our right leg back in a hinge position. Lift, lower, pull, reset. Go. Back leg up, down, pull, three hinge. So you're really gonna feel that front glute before too long. Especially as you hinge forward. Find your focal point. It's a balance challenge. Leg comes off the floor for a second. Rest. All right, next exercise. Squat knee lift with a bicep curl. And we'll just be lifting and lowering the right knee. Go. Down curl. Down curl again. Keep going. 20 solid seconds. Doesn't sound like much, but oh my goodness, if you're working hard, it feels like a lot. Have your weights if you're not challenged at this point. 
rest, weights inside. Here comes our cardio, back taps, right foot only. Arms can be like that or like this. Go. You can bring the knee forward or you can tap in. You choose, but promise me you're working hard. You should be pretty breathless. Oh, yes indeed. Just think how good our final rest will be. Those 10 seconds don't count. All right, pick up your weights. Back to the first exercise of this set. Reverse lunge left, arms forward. Go. So the music is fast, but I'm totally ignoring it. I'm going at my own pace. I mean, it's a pretty good pace. We're not dilly-dallying, but don't rush through it. Keep your form strong. Good. Ah, recover. Get your left leg back. Hinge lunge position, All right? Back leg will lift as we get started. Lift, lower, pull, reset. Up, down, pull, reset. Another one where you want to take your time to get the most out of the movement. Brace strong for your core. Find your focus. All right. Quick shake out. Next will be the squat knee lift on your left. Go. Squat, rise. Squat, rise. Don't forget to get low in your squat. That will power you up to that strong knee lift, bicep curl. Now arms aren't working terribly hard. They're kind of going along for the ride. But boy, the legs sure are. All right, weights aside. Last one of this to bottom round. This is, oh, oh yes, back taps. Back taps. All the workouts I do test my brain, not just my muscles. Don't always pass the test. You all are so gracious, though. You keep coming back. And I very much appreciate it. All right, guys, a few more seconds here, and then we'll move on to our next round of Tabata. Oh, recover. Shake it out. All right, I believe we're coming to our all strength round. So grab your weights. You'll see all these exercises will alternate. So, right leg forward, lift lower, switch, pull it in. Left leg, lift lower, switch. So, we won't stay on one side for this round. It's a little easier that way, but it doesn't feel easier. I'm gonna finish up the other side. You can rest. I'm just kinda, you know, you know that way. All right, next exercise. Tap backs with kick backs, and I will alternate feet. So one foot back, other foot back. Remember the first time we did them, it was just one side at a time. Since we're hinged forward, your abdominals are engaged. Pull your belly in. Send those arms all the way back. Feel your triceps working. All right, one more side. Ah. Side squat, overhead press. We'll do one right and one left. Weight to your shoulders. Go. Down, press up. Down, press up. For some reason, the Tabata workouts I put out are the most popular. So we'll see if it holds true after this one. That means you like to work hard. I love it. I'll keep trying to challenge you. Oh, rest. All right, wide stance. Plies with upright rows. Are you feeling all those muscles? Oh, I am. Down and up. Heel lifts if you want them. Notice the heels really make a difference with balance. I almost tipped forward on that one. So don't get too excited on your lifts. Good, good, hang in there. Rest. Next exercise, reverse lunge, front lift, and we'll alternate legs, starting with your right leg back. Go. So don't hesitate to take a big step back. Arms forward, nice and long. Long and strong. Good. Working out like this keeps us long and strong. 
Not losing muscle, not losing bone. Perfect. Squat, lift. And we'll alternate the knee lifts. And go. Right knee up. Squat, left knee up. Remember the legs. Drive the movement. Arms just stay warm. Nice. We have one more strength exercise after this one. I'm going to talk you through the transition from side to side. It's a little tricky. All right, start with your right leg back and lunge. Hinge forward. We'll start by lifting and lowering our right leg behind us. Lift lower, pull, reset, switch your feet. Lift and lower your leg, pull, reset and switch. Right leg back, lift lower, pull, reset and switch. Lift lower. Pull, switch. Oh, we're gonna have to stop. We need a break. We are heading into our all cardio round. Each exercise we'll do twice, one right after the other. So step back, slam down. Step back, slam down. We are alternating. This will probably feel a little more natural than staying on one side. So this is kind of our rehearsal, right? Because we know we have another round coming. Well, we're going to go all out. All right, 10 seconds. Get our energy back. Last time you'll see this move. We'll start by stepping back left first. And then, all out. Picture something negative in your life, and you are throwing it away. I like those mental pictures. It helps motivate me through some tough times, some tough movements. You've got this. Oh, rest. Next up, your favorite, I'm sure. Squat lifts, squat jumps. Is that right? It's not my favorite, but it's so good for us. So let's do it and do it well. Good, then you softly if you're jumping or you can stay grounded. Neither one is easy. Oh my goodness, I don't need to tell you that. I was stating the obvious. Almost there. Oh, you have another one in you, right? I know you do. One more. One more. Go. I hope you're as sweaty as I am. <laughs> I don't want to be alone. Dropping sweat on the floor. Oh, it's good for some. Means we're working hard. A few more seconds here. Then I'm going to show you. A move we kind of did earlier, but it was strength. This time it's cardio. It's going to be punches with fast feet. So get ready. Arms in place. Go. You find a fast pace. Picture that heavy bag in front of you. You are laying into it right now. Punch strong. Run fast. You are awesome. Oh, yes you are. Press, press. Easy movement. Same thing, one more time. That might honestly be my favorite move. It's fun, yes? Go, go. Fun but challenging. Woo! And I don't care if I look funny. I don't care. I'm having fun. I'm getting stronger. We all are. The older you get, the less other people's opinions matter, right? You do you. Rest. All right, last cardio move. Tap backs, alternating feet as fast as you can. Go, go. Is anybody starting before the beep? You have that option too. You have the option to start early or come back late. Whatever you need. That's what's nice about doing this on video, right? You can pause, rewind, forward wind whatever you want to do. All right, quick, quick rest. We're going to come back and do cardio. Mat out, mat out. Push-ups are coming, push-ups. So, when you've got your mat in place, down and up, 20 seconds. From toes, from knees, you can be standing, using a wall, using a countertop, whatever you need. Knock out 20 solid seconds of push-ups. 
Rest. Grab your weights. Renegade rows. You can do it standing or from plank position, knees or feet. Keep them apart. Lift up one, lift up the other. Try not to rock side to side. And I think I do renegade rows in all my Tabata workouts because it is a great active way to work the core. Beautiful. Nice and steady. Rest. Come on your back. Chest press with hip lifts. So arms right out to your sides. Hips lift when our arms lift. So working our chest, working our triceps, working our glutes and hamstrings. Lots of backside muscles here. Go, go. And a little front too. Chest is in the front. Push, push. All right, set them down. Last one, hip thrusts. So we're sitting, hands behind, kicking our feet out and in. We're off. This will be the last exercise in our core round before we repeat it. So after this, push-ups. Get yourself psyched for them. Woo. I like to know things ahead of time. Ah, I probably shouldn't sometimes. Rest. Ah. Get into position. Push-ups. Last set of them. Modify if you need to. Two rounds of push-ups is no joke. So if you feel like your form is faltering, knees down or do them standing. Form always trumps the number of reps you do. Oh, I'm gonna feel these tomorrow. I think I'm gonna be a little sore. All right, grab the weights. Rows. Again, you can do them on your feet or front planks, knees or toes. Get set, pull one weight, pull the other. Keep your arms nice and close to your torso. Nice and steady. Make sure you're not dropping your head down. Keep it aligned with your spine. Awesome. On your back. Chest press with hip lifts. Go. Oh my goodness, how good is the rest at the end? It's gonna feel mighty good. So press through your heels, lifting your hips high and strong, working the chest, working your arms. into a B position, and then thrusts. After this, we do our stretch to bottom. Now, our stretching is not all passive stretches. The first two will be more active. So keep that in mind. Out and in. We'll give you abdominals, working the back. We'll be coming onto our feet for the next exercise, so be ready for that. All right. We're gonna stretch it out, but active stretch. First one, lunge. Knee can be down or up. Here we go, right leg back. Either high lunge or low lunge, and just hold. So see what I mean by very active. Stretching through the hip flexors, reaching up with your arms, or hands can be at your hips too if your shoulders are real tired. All right, switch. Left leg back. Remember your options, high lunge or low lunge. Both are awesome. Settle in, 20 seconds. The good news is we're catching our breath. We're still using our muscles, we're still working, but heart rate should be coming down because we're not moving around so much. All right, after this will be bird dog. I'm going to show you standing bird dog in case you don't want to come down. So that's just one arm up, opposite leg back, or from all fours, extend one arm, opposite leg, and just hold. So we're not going to alternate. This is a little harder to maintain one side. So a long line from fingers to heel. Pull in your belly. You know what's after this one. 
We're going to do the other side. So if you're standing, you'll lift opposite arm and leg from all fours. You're here on the other side. Oh, I started early, didn't I? That's okay, because I probably ended short on a couple of ones, so, you know, it all evens out. After this, we'll be down dog. We'll be holding it for 20 seconds. You can do down dog at a wall, uh, bringing your body to an L shape. So if you want to stay standing, L shape with your body. Otherwise, get into down dog position. Sink your heels toward the floor. And hold. Now we're holding the position, but please don't hold your breath. Keep the breath flowing. to relax too. You'll like what's coming after this. Child's pose. So knees down, hips back. Oh, settle into child's pose. I probably have to convince you to come to this one early. So relax. Feeling nice tension stretch through your back, through your shoulders. A couple more stretches coming after this. We'll be coming onto our back legs. All right, here we go. Onto your back. Your knees will be lifted. We'll be flowing our knees side to side. So make sure you've got plenty of room. And just bring your knees from one side up and over to the other. And ignore the fast music. You take this slow. Gently twisting through your low back.